So this time uh, I'll be talking about the DC Universe Classics Series 11, The Shark. You may have seen my video on the modern day shark. This is uh, a representation of the uh, classic 60s shark. Uh, 60s to early 80s. Uh, now the shark is a mutated shark really who has telepathic and telekinetic powers. He can also throw uh, electrical bolts, energy bolts. Um, and he has all the senses and abilities of a shark would have uh, except they're amplified and that's pretty much his powers and his story uh, there's not much to him uh, except that he wants to uh, chow down on people now it's a very nice sculpt very shiny metallic uh, purple paint He's got these nice fins on his arms and legs and this huge fin on his back. Uh, and of course he's got this very goofy looking head. It's the worst part of the figure. Uh, not that it's a bad part to the actual figure, but it's the bad part of the design of the character. Because this looks exactly like the character is supposed to look like. Um, so you can't fold it for that. It's just so freaking goofy looking. Uh, that uh, seeing it as a figure makes it even more goofy looking. I'm all for the classic interpretation of characters. But this is one time where I think that the modern character uh, design is a lot better than the uh, classic but again the figure itself it does an excellent job at representing the character as he appeared so uh, it's not a bad figure it's a bad <laughs> design uh, but, uh, you know, figure-wise, it does what it's supposed to. It's just too goofy looking. As far as articulation goes, he's got the standard DC Universe Classics articulation. Arms go in and out and around. Bicep swivel. Elbows bend. Uh, wrist bend. Uh, he's got some. He's got the abdominal crunch. Um, his waist articulation. Uh, legs go forward and back, in and out. Rotate at the thigh and bend at the knee and. Uh, bend at the ankle and uh, he does have head movement there's not much up and down movement with the head uh, but you do get lots of side to side motion uh, I'm really surprised they picked this version to do even though the figure does its job uh, of representing the character uh, I don't think the character itself is all that worthy. That'll be it for the shark. Uh, stay tuned for my next review. Till then, see ya.